Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you this makeup look, so to speak. Um, but if you guys want to see how to get this, then keep on watching. Okay guys, this is going to be my second and final look for the Halloween series that I'm doing um, but I already applied my um, eyeshadow off camera because obviously this wasn't really about eyeshadow I just used some basic, a basic look for this but now I just went in just like my previous video I applied my spirit gum and then I'm just going to apply the wax around the outline that I already made off camera you guys can make this however you want um, you can design it to have more than one patch, one big patch, a smaller patch, um, but you can do this however you like, um, but this is the design I decided to go with. Also, for this look, I am going to go in with a lotion and smooth that out. I find that when you use like a lotion, it does blend better into your skin. And then you can go back and forth between a lotion or your spatula, whichever is easier. I go back and forth between the two just to smooth it. This is probably the most tedious part. It probably took me about an hour, literally, to do this um, because it's so tedious and I was kind of being a little bit of a perfectionist, even though obviously this look isn't meant to be perfect, but it was just, it was very tedious. Um, and this is probably the first time that I felt like scar wax is the devil. Um, <laughs> but you can always use other molding materials. You can use silicone. You can use it do this with latex and tissue or cotton. Um, I just used this because I thought it was going to be faster. But it wasn't. But it's fine. And I, I actually didn't mind too much because this brown actually blends into my natural complexion really well. So I didn't really need to worry about trying to make it blend into my skin. So that is everything after I apply the scar wax. I managed to get it all the way around. I'm doing some final touch-ups of blending it into my skin. And now I'm just going to go in with my usual foundation and highlight. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm just going to apply that to highlight underneath my eye. And then I'm just going to go on with my foundation. I'm using, again, the Stila, I think this is the, uh, the Stila foundation. They really only have like one or two. But it's their liquid foundation. Um, I believe it's the foundation and concealer in the shade 15. And I'm just going to apply that inside where the scar wax is. Obviously where I did my eyeshadow. apply it also on the scar wax as well and then I'm gonna go in and set my under eye concealer I'm actually gonna do my makeup on this side the way that I usually would so I'm gonna set it with my black opal finishing powder in medium and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with um, my black opal finishing powder in dark nothing different here same old same old and I apply that over the scar wax as well just to get rid of a little bit of that shine. And then I created this eye patch using a cotton pad and latex and I just apply this over my eye and I'm just gonna use like some medical grade tape. It's kind of like skin tape, um, but I used this. Um, make sure you apply some type of lubricant on your eyebrows so you don't lose any eyebrow hair. I did not lose any when I did this. Um, or you can make your bat patch big enough that it covers your eyebrows as well. And then I'm going to go on with this gelatin mix. I will leave the recipe that I used down below to make this. And I'm just going to apply this on pretty much all the open sides of my face that doesn't have actual makeup on it. Now, this first batch of gelatin that I made, I should have let it, I should have warmed it up a little bit more, but I was afraid it was going to be too hot. Um, but as you see, when I go, um, 
as I get further in, it does get a little bit with, uh, a little bit more liquidy, and then it solidifies um, once you're done. Um, but yeah, I was just afraid it was going to be too hot, um, so I didn't warm it up as much. Um, but once I had this first layer on, you you're, you are going to have to stop and warm this up because gelatin does solidify very quickly. Um, so just keep that in mind. You are going to have to stop and warm, reheat it. This is the part where hair it's this is kind of the consistency you want to start with um which is the one that i have now this is kind of the consistency you wanted to originally had not like that real sticky gooey situation that i had but this is actually the consistency you want to have when you're starting this so make sure it's very liquidy when you're doing this um so that it will you know It'll be easier to apply than the way that I did it the first freaking 10 minutes but yeah I had girlfriends over while I was doing this so yeah that's why you see um, one of my best friends back there Diane and then I'm just once it dries I'm gonna go in and set it with my Ben Nye neutral set just because it is very very sticky and it's very hard to paint over gelatin once it dries um, so just make sure you do set it with the powder um, it'll make it easier to apply colors and foundation or anything that you want to apply over top. Okay, and I'm going to go on with that same foundation and just apply this over the gelatin. flash palette again and I'm using like this muted out kind of mauve purple um, and applying that all over um, in the little purposes just all over just to make it look real disgusting you can color this however you want it you can make it look more cartoony um, but I I really like this purple this, this purple is so good for like using cheese especially when you add like some black and red in there it looks so dope um, next I'm going in with a little bit of this kind of orangey red and I'm just applying that um, in any of the areas that I want. You can pretty much, like I said, make this part how you like. So I'm really not going to talk too much through this part, so just sit back relax. So next I'm going to go in and outline around that patch just to give it some depth so you can kind of get an idea of, you know, kind of like create like that this isn't really attached to my face. You kind of want to give it some depth. Um, so I'm going to go on with some black and just go all around that patch area that I created. Just to create like almost like a shadow essentially is what you're doing. And then you can blend that out as you go along. Just full house on Tuesday. Next, I'm gonna go in with my scab blood. I believe the one that I have is from Ben Nye, and I'm just gonna go in and apply that all around that um, around the patch. Dark blood again. 
again from Ben Nye and I'm just going to apply that again around the patch just to make it a little bit more gory and scary and just Halloween like. I'm going to go use my ColourPop um, lippy pencil in, I believe this is Feminist. I'm just going to line my lips. These ColourPop pen pencils are really annoying, by the way. And then I'm going to go on with this Maybelline liquid lipstick. I don't remember the name of it, but I will have it down below. I love this shade. It's super pretty. Um, and I just apply that to my lips. You can use whatever color you want. Um, you can even use red, which I would have used red, but I feel like I always use red. Um, but I went in with this deep purple because I felt like it looked really, really, really good together. So that is it for the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed these two Halloween videos that I did this season. Let me know if you guys want to see more next season or even in between seasons. Let me know. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check me out on Instagram at Total Zebra Ray. All right, bye.